Alright, I'm going to demo Intel QuickSync. So on the left I have my ASUS Ultrabook, which is a Core i5-3317U running at 1.7 gigahertz. I've got 4 gigs of RAM. And on the right I have another Intel Core i5. This is the Dell Latitude 6410. It's got 8 gigs of RAM. And uh, it's an Intel Core i5-M560 with uh, 2.67 gigahertz. Both of these are Windows 7 Service Pack 1. I'm going to be uh, using CyberLink PowerDirector to transcode a MLV file from my D800 to a MP4. A two minute clip here. And here we go. And this is with GPU acceleration on the uh, latitude. And the ASUS is done. That was uh, one minute to encode two minutes worth of video. And on the right, it looks like we're at 22 seconds. Well, that's going, I'm gonna try producing the same video. MPEG-2 DVD high quality. That was um, 34 seconds. I had the video preview on. You're not supposed to have video preview with Quick Sync, so I'm going to see how fast it encodes it without a video preview. Elapse time 40 seconds. So having the video preview on actually cost me 20 seconds, which is uh, pretty significant for a two minute video. We are coming up on seven minutes on the latitude. Seven minutes and five seconds. So that's quite a difference, 40 seconds versus 7 minutes. Just curious how fast it goes without GPU acceleration. I'm going to turn off quick sync on this one as well, see how fast that goes. I'm going to turn off video preview. Ready, go. Without any acceleration, the uh, ASUS is actually just a hair faster, which is kind of surprising considering it's only a 1.7. My uh, camera battery died, but the uh, CPU only and the two Core i5s were both three minutes. Oh. Well, the ASUS was 3 minutes and 40 seconds. The Dell was 3 minutes and 50 seconds. The hardware video encoder on the Dell actually slowed it down by about 50%. Now let's try it. Quick sync versus CPU only on the Dell with no preview. And the ASUS is done at uh, 40 seconds again. That's what we expected since I already tested that.
And the Dell completes at uh, 3 minutes and 50 seconds again. The uh, preview made no difference whatsoever. File sizes created were 198 megabytes on the Dell and 196 megabytes on the ASUS. So very similar file sizes between the QuickSync and the Dell. These were the uh, best quality setting that comes with uh, PowerDirector 10. That's 1920 by 1080, uh, 30 frames per second progressive. And um, that's all about all there is for that. Just for grins, we're going to compare it to my uh, main video encoding PC, which is an Intel Core i7-950 running at 3.07 GHz. It has uh, 6 gigs of RAM. It's also Windows 7 Service Pack 1. We're going to try it with the hardware encoder. Actually, no, we're not. We're just going to go straight up CPU for now. And our time elapsed was 1 minute and 46 seconds. It's just a little bit faster than real time. Let's see how it does with the uh, NVIDIA GT470. CUDA cores. Alrighty then, my uh, GT470 apparently did not help any there. It actually took longer to encode. It took uh, over two minutes. Let's try it without the video preview. minutes even. So apparently GT470 is not any faster than CPU encoder. One minute 40 seconds. So the uh, preview did not affect my encode time on the desktop. Didn't affect it for the uh, NVIDIA acceleration nor for the straight up CPU. So that's all my testing. Bye.